Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the President of Algeria, Abdelmajid Tabun, on the anniversary of the Revolution Day. His Royal Highness sent a similar cable to the Prime Minister of Algeria, Ayman bin Abdurrahman. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that Cordoba CF, under its Bahraini leadership, has become a source of pride thanks to the team's performances. His Highness's remarks came after the team defeated San Rook 1 to 0. He stressed his keenness to continue supporting the team to boost its successes, which are being witnessed since the beginning of the new season, as Cordoba CF has put together a 14 match unbeaten streak across all competitions. He pointed out that Cordoba CF has set a great example of cementing its position and great abilities by making great performances that brought attention to the team. Following this victory, Cordoba has now 22 points on top of its group after seven wins and one draw. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the continuous achievements of victorious Bahrain cycling team is a source of pride and are on the path of achieving the Economic Vision 2030. He praised the win of member Chin Kai Fing in Taiwan's championship and hailed the players' keenness to give the best performances in challenging events and achieving the best results. His Highness pointed out Fing's high capabilities that led to this well deserved win, which will lead to making more accomplishments in upcoming events. Events. He highlighted the series of achievements made by victorious Bahrain team, affirmed the dedication of the technical and administrative teams and the high abilities of the team members. His Highness wished the team for their success. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the continuous achievements of the Bahraini camel racing and form participation reflects the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa of Heritage Sports and follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness affirmed that the achievements in the Arab Saudi Olympic Committee Cup is one of the numerous achievements of Saudi Arabia. He pointed out that the camel racing sport has been witnessing many accomplishments thanks to the care of His Majesty the King, which is a huge motivation to continue the achievements in raising the status of Bahrain in international events. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, the GSA, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited the Buri Club and Al Ali Club within the framework of His Highness's field visits to support and enhance communication with sports facilities to implement the plans and programs that aim to develop the level of sports and athletes in accordance with the policies of the GSA. Present was the CEO of the GSA, Dr. Abdurrahman Sadiq Askar. His Highness met with the President of Buri Club, Mohammed Hussein Youssef, and the President of Ali Club, Hussein Mohammed Al Ali, as well as a number of both clubs' members. His Highness expressed his appreciation for the efforts of Buri and Ali clubs through holding sports activities and events and encouraging the youth to participate in sports and embrace them in the sports teams and actively participating in local competitions, which is reflected in highlighting the role of clubs in the development of the sports sector. His Highness then listened to a briefing uh, from the presidents of the clubs regarding their future plans that aim to develop the sports sector of the kingdom. His Highness praised the comprehensive development of the future vision that contributes to the progress of sports and enhances the kingdom's position in international sports. For their part, the club's pre presidents expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for his visit, which reflects His Highness's keenness to enhance communication for the development of clubs. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fauzi Azainal, received a delegation of members and senior staff of the European Parliament. The Speaker affirmed that the Kingdom, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, raised the values of tolerance and coexistence and harnessed his efforts to adopt civilized humanitarian initiatives and won the admiration and appreciation of the international community and civil society associations and institutions working in the field of human rights. She stressed that Bahrain has become a distinguished 
British model in adopting the highest principles of human rights and spreading a culture of love, coexistence, peace and openness and has been able to provide a complete and solid experience in ensuring and promoting public rights and religious and sectarian freedoms. Zainal stressed that the Representatives Council will continue with all means and coordination and cooperation with international parliaments, especially the European Parliament, stressing her keenness on exchanging visits with the aim of benefiting from mutual experiences, joint constructive work and unifying visions and viewpoints of various pop topics and common issues. Shura Council Chairman Adi Saleh received the European Parliament's delegation for relations with the Arabian Peninsula headed by Dr. Sven Simon. The meeting reviewed the achievements witnessed by Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the efforts made by the legislative and executive branches to achieve the desired development as well as the comprehensive economic development and initiative launched by the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to reach recovery stage after the pandemic economic growth, financial balance and improving citizens' lives. The chairman affirmed that the kingdom is proceeding steadily in its democratic human rights and development path through national initiatives and plans based on firm principles of tolerance, national unity and peaceful coexistence among all religions, sects and cultures. He stressed the importance of consolidating bilateral parliamentary cooperation to raise the performance level in support of the democratic process and common interests of an international scale. DARP members expressed their keenness to develop the bilateral relations and exchange expertise to develop the legislative system and support peace, security and stability in the world. Shura Council uh, Chairman Ali Saleh praised the government's initiative to ensure economic recovery and sustainability of financial stability in Bahrain. In line with the directives of His Majesty the King, the chairman was speaking during a joint meeting held with the government represented uh, by the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and Parliament Affairs uh, Minister Ghanem bin Fadl Al Bouainin. He stressed that the government's continuous implementation of programs uh, within fixed schedules contributes to creating more investment opportunities, speeding up the achievement of financial balance and promoting the kingdom's economic status. Al Saleh praised the continuous directives of His Royal Highness uh, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to bolster cooperation between the legislative and executive branches and continue to uh, joint meetings to discuss issues aimed at serving the national interests. He also affirmed the Council's support to the government's efforts to build on previous development achievements, pointing out the success of uh, the initiatives undertaken over the previous months in ensuring financial and economic stability and protecting the rights of all in just and fair ways. Within the framework of the close relations between Bahrain and the UAE, a delegation from the Mohammed bin Zayed University for Humanities, headed by the university president, Dr. Khaled Al-Zahri, visited the kingdom. During the visit, ways of uh, cooperation in the field of higher education were discussed. A meeting was held to promote and develop cooperation between the university and the Abdullah bin Khalid College for Islamic Studies in the fields of academic research, scientific research and training. Attended by the Minister of Education and Chairman of the College's Board of Trustees, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi. The delegation visited uh, the uh, Her Highness uh, Sheikh Moza bin Hamad Al Khalifa's comprehensive girls' school, during which uh, they were briefed on the experience of establishing the school in Bahrain which includes the three educational stages in one location. They also toured the school's various facilities and departments and were briefed on the educational project it is implementing. The Minister of Education praised the successful visit of the delegation. For his part, the director of the university affirmed that the visit aims to enhance continuous cooperation between the two brotherly countries in various fields, praising the school as a model for a successful school and wishing for continued cooperation between the two parties. In line with the latest developments on COVID-19 data and following the Government Executive Committee's approval, the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus announced an update to Bahrain's COVID-19 alert level traffic light system. The alert level will change depending on the rolling average of positive cases within intensive care. The task force states that de-escalating from one level to the level below requires the same level to be maintained for a period no less than a week. 
However, escalating from a lower alert level to a higher one can take place with an immediate effect. The task force noted that the criteria for each level is subject to change in accordance with the latest data and developments. The task force also announced that based on this update, obligatory temperature checks and registration of information will no longer be required for non-vaccinated individuals when entering a facility with waiting areas to be reopened. However, the task force stressed the need to adhere to the wearing a mask when visiting indoor facilities facilities continuing with sterilization procedures, encouraging pre-booking and electronic payment, in addition to following all precautionary measures to limit the spread of the virus. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,177,521 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,141,443 had taken the second, and 452,366 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination.